Before you guys get into this cooking video, just wanted to say something real quick. <laughs> Ignore the fly tape behind me in the dining room, hanging above the dining room table. There has been a fly issue around here. Um, and we hung the fly tape up to hopefully catch some of the flies because they were like ridiculous. So <laughs> that's why that's there. And then the trash bag I was almost tripping over. Just ignore that. It's real life. And then the other thing at the end, I had a little piece of something. It looks like a little piece of salt or something up here on my lip. And I did not realize it. So, real life, people. Real life. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, guys. It's Tiffany here from PK Mom Life. I'm back with another video. Um, or actually the first video of a new video series for you guys, Cook Cooking with Tiffany. Now, there will be a possibly another name I'm going to go by. But um, for now, it's just Cooking with Tiffany. Um... This is just a simple recipe that I've kind of just come up with my, by myself. It's, um, kind of took it from a cookbook, but tonight I'm just doing it by myself. It's a recipe, not a cookbook, but a recipe I found online a while back. Um, but now I'm just doing it by myself and how I feel like doing it. So, what I'm doing is, I've got about, oh, two tablespoons of butter or so in my skillet. I just chopped up. A bunch of red onions purple onions whatever you want to call them and I'm gonna put all that in my pan a lot of onion you could probably use any kind of onion with this um, this is what I have on hand I really like the purple onions and the taste that they give things so that is what I'm using today and plus you know when you're eating something like squash there's not much collar to it so it gives the, your food a little bit more color and it doesn't look as bland. So I'm going to go and wash now off these squash and cut them up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, right now I'm just slicing up the squash. I've already done one. I rinsed them off and wipe, you know, cleaned them off real good. Now I'm just slicing them. No science to it. I'm not the best slicer in the world. <laughs> worried about these not being the best because I've had them for so long. I mean, they look okay on the outside. A couple of them are a little brown on the inside. Like, I don't know. Does that look? I don't know. I'm going to play the safe side and throw these away. Alright, so my butter and my onions are sauteing up a little bit. Let me get something to stir it up with here. I'm going to turn, up, turn the fan on low so hopefully you guys will still be able to hear me. So I'm just stirring up the onions and butter a little bit. I'm going to let these onions cook a little bit and then I'm going to throw in some garlic. Because like my pig spatula. <laughs> There's a big hair. One of the bad things about my hair is it goes everywhere. Okay, now I'm just going to put in some garlic. Um, the onions have been sauteing up good. The butter looks good. And I just got jarred garlic here. It's just jarred um, minced garlic from Walmart. It's actually almost all gone. I'm going to stir in. I'm just going to go ahead and use what is left. Like I said, guys, this is just something I have kind of come up with on my own. There's no science to it. No measuring. You can never have too much garlic, right? So here is it now. We'll let that all saute and the flavors meld together a little bit here and then I'll throw in my um, squash here in just a sec. I did turn the heat down a little bit. So I'm thinking I may have got too small of a pan but we'll make it work. <laughs> okay the flavors are all kind of melding together with the butter and the onion and the garlic so I'm just going to throw in all of the squash now. So I'm just stirring the squash in now, and I really think I may have got too small of a pan. I'm just going to 
going to try to toss it all together here. All right. I've definitely got too small of a pan, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, kind of stir these up and let them, you know, simmer down a little bit. And I want the, my goal is for everything to have a nice crisp, be brown color to it be almost caramelized so we're going to just kind of let it sit for a minute and turn the heat back up just a tad and then um and i've had it on just like medium heat to medium low heat the whole down no big deal so we're just gonna let this sit right here for a second and we'll be back okay guys so while that's cooking up i've got three garden fresh cucumbers here my mom picked up from our local farmers market i'm going to peel them and then um show you guys also of uh, my favorite snack while on keto super easy um and now you can get the seasoning from what i hear everywhere so we'll slice these up or take the skin off of them and then um slice them up and serve them for my dinner tonight this will be actually be all i have tonight for dinner this handy dandy tool here i got this at a kitchen store you know when these kitchen stores they have like in the mall or whatever i love it it's like the easiest thing to peel vegetables with potatoes i'm mostly just peel obviously i don't do potatoes anymore since i'm keto but um it's very easy to do potatoes with if you're one of you know if you do eat potatoes um but i love it for my cucumbers i absolutely love it for my cucumbers I'm not big on the cute skin on my cucumbers. Okay, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what the cucumbers look Okay, so I've sliced up my cucumbers and just made them fairly big slices. I mean, not thick or anything. Not too super thick and not too super thin. And I'm just spreading them out on the plate. I don't feel like you guys need to see how to slice a cucumber. I think everybody knows how to slice up a cucumber. I may actually need a bigger plate though. Normally, I wouldn't eat this many cucumbers at once. Hold on that thought just a second. But yeah, normally I wouldn't eat this many cucumbers at once, but I haven't ate much today. And I wanted to, these cucumbers were getting to their last legs, so I wanted to get them eight. So I'm actually going to eat them all for dinner tonight. <laughs> Probably not the most healthy meal, but that's what I'm going to have. Not the, I shouldn't say most healthy because it's very healthy. Just not much, very sustainable. There's not much substance to it. <laughs> Let's show you how the squash are looking. Here's how the squash is looking. As you guys can see, there's some pieces starting to get very brown and crispy, and that's the way I want them. I did end up adding two more tablespoons of butter because it was just really dry. I'm just kind of stirring them up every once in a while. The next thing I'm going to do to the cucumbers is I'm just going to spread on each cucumber a little bit of whipped cream cheese. This is just Kroger brand ripped, whipped original cream cheese. And the stats on it is their serving size two tablespoons and there's two carbs per tablespoon. This is probably not the most carb friendly, low carb friendly, you know, snack. It just depends on how much you like cream cheese. And I like cream cheese, so probably gonna have several tablespoons of cream cheese by the time I'm done with this so I'm gonna spread these out so yeah just a little bit on them, each little piece of cucumber and I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done cucumbers are all you guys see them look too bright there we go with the light just all covered with cream cheese now um granted guys Typically, I don't eat this many cucumbers at once with this much cream cheese, okay? I don't know what the carbs are going to be on this because there's so much, but it is going to be a higher carb snack that is considered, would be considered low carb. The next thing I do is I use the Everything But The Bagel Seasoning from Trader Joe's, but now you guys can get this anywhere. And I just sprinkle on the cucumbers very liberally. Yeah, I've seen you eat that. I have because I'm all ooh, over ooh, the cucumbers Papa. and cream cheese. I wish, this I, was bottle. I wish I was literally magic. So, like, whenever I clap something, 
mirror. This bottle is like on its last leg. Is anybody else hot or is it just me? Is anybody else hot or is it just me? It's Probably just you, just buddy. me because I'm standing right the closest to the snow. Actually, no, mommy. The snow? Stove. All the snow. I'm, <laughs> I'm standing on snow. the stove. So, I guess the smoke is kind of... Kind of okay. <laughs> so, here's what it looks like. All it is, guys. Cucumber, <laughs> cream cheese, and everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm telling y'all, best snack ever. Keto. <laughs> Low carb. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> can you be a pet, Tina? That when you're done, you you have something that he needs to taste. Want that? So I can go upstairs, sneak, go upstairs and. No, because you guys are going to be going to bed as soon as I get all this done. Okay guys, this is how the squash is coming along. We are getting there slowly but surely. I probably could turn the heat up a little bit more, but I like kind of cooking them slow to kind of keep the, um, so the flavors all melt together really well. Okay guys, this is just about done. I'm just gonna let it cook a few more minutes and let everything kind of brown up a little bit more. Just a couple pieces that aren't really much brown yet and I like them to be nice and brown. Now, it, this is soggy. It does make your um, squash soggy but that don't bother me none. Alright guys, here it is. All done. I'm just going to dish it up now. Okay, let's try this. The squash. It's good. Very good. Again guys, I'm not a cook like a chef by any means. I would say I use, I use a total of four tablespoons of butter. Two at the beginning and then two in the middle of it after I put in the squash and they cooked for a few minutes. Probably a quarter of an onion. It was a large red onion. It was, here's one. It was probably about this size, red onion. A quarter of it and um, four prop three and a half squashes I'd say three and a half squash not squashes and just saute them in my pan you know with and then I'll oh, probably about two tablespoons of garlic too I'd say yeah it's just this just something that I threw together myself and inspiration from a recipe I found online and that is it guys I hope you enjoyed my quick and easy little keto um side dish and appetizer whatever you want to call it there um snack and i hope you guys have a great day if you haven't already make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button thanks for watching bye